Tournament strategy is important for the college process. You want to play in the right tournaments to get the right exposure. Um, but some advice I would give you is don't be obsessive about rankings and scores, but let your focus and your energy be on learning, improving, and competing. So here are my three tips for tournament strategy development. Number one, learn how to compete and learn how to win. If you're a younger player, you can do this on a developmental tour, on a state tour. These are stepping stone tournaments and the whole objective is to learn how to compete. That's the key, right? Um, second point, you can select some of your tournaments um, to improve your rankings. It doesn't have to be all of them. In fact, a rule of thumb I like to use is divide your tournament strategy into three. You want some tournaments that are just easy for you, that they build confidence, others that are a bit of a stretch, and then some may be really out of your level, but they're just good for you to be exposed to that and to try those, you know, compete in a difficult field or in a difficult event. Um, so number two was select tournaments that are good for your rankings. For your WAGA rankings, if you're international, another thing for international players, play for your federation, play for your national teams. Um, if you're an American junior, then build your rankings on Junior Golf Scoreboard. This is a fantastic resource for college coaches. They really pay attention to Junior Golf Scoreboard rankings and of course AJGA, uh, Rolex, Order of Merit. Number three, I'll leave you with the last point, is select tournaments where you're gonna get college coach exposure. And last but not least, it's not always about scores, you're not always gonna win, but you always wanna learn and keep improving.